Welcome back. So I think this is starting to make sense. Now, pay no attention to the color choices. I know it's starting to look like some kind of holiday tree here. Actually, those are very pleasing colors to me. Okay, now, let's say as an example that what I want to do is, you know, I made a rule for the emphasis tag that has this line through it. Well, I'm not too sold on the line here, and I'm not too sold on the color. So if I change this color here, it's going to change it for everything, but that's not what I want to do. I just want to change it for, as an example, I'm going to make this italic. I just want to change the emphasis tag when the emphasis tag is inside the H1 tag. So let's understand how we can do this. So let's use some plain old simple logic. Okay, so we're going to select the tag. We're going to select the tag, we're going to select the source, and then we're going to hit the plus symbol. Now, in this particular case, we are going to let Dreamweaver make the decisions, minus I don't need to put the body tag in there. So, in this particular case, I am going to say when an emphasis tag is inside of the H1 tag. Now, by default, nothing's going to happen because it's going to in inherit from its parent. Its parent tag is the emphasis tag by itself. So, it's a parent-child relationship here. Okay, very important step here. So, the only thing I do want to change, I like the color, but I don't want to have that line running through it. So, what I can do is go to Type. And for text decoration, I say none. I have to physically override that. And it doesn't have a line through it. Now, of course, if you want to change that color, maybe I like the color, but I want to make it just a little bit darker. Well, how can I do that? Well, watch this. I can select the color, just like if I was in Photoshop. I can select that color right there. And then with the color selected, I'm just going to drag it down, just make it oh so darker. Pretty cool, huh? Make a change. Save a change. So therefore, it's inheriting from its parent minus the local changes I made. So as a child, you get to be whatever you want to be. But if you don't make a decision, your parents decide for you. So in this particular case, the child, which is the emphasis inside of H1, the parent tag is right here. So if you were to change, say, the size, then it would change the size of this because I don't have a size request for the child. I don't, it's default size. So let me explain that to you. If I go to the emphasis tag right here and I change the font size, I'm just going to click and drag by the way. I'm just going to click, make this uh, pixel, and I'm just going to drag this to the right, just like that. Okay. Now I just did that as a demonstration to share with you. I don't want to make this 43 pixels, but it affects the child. The parent-child relationship is very, very important. I'm going to revert this to the last safe version, or I could, it could have hit Command Z. So the parent-child relationship is paramount to a successful working environment inside of CSS. Now, before we get into FTP, I'm going to share with you another technique here of, of IDing tag, tag ID. So here's what I want, I want to be able to do. Here I have a paragraph tag. Here's a paragraph tag. Here's a paragraph tag. What I'd like to do for this very first paragraph is I want to indent the paragraph and I want to make it red. Well, let's think about this very logically, very intuitively. If I go ahead and create a paragraph rule, it's going to affect the rule for every single paragraph. So how can I isolate just this paragraph? Well, I can do that very simply by giving that paragraph an ID. Now, important note to take here. Any tag, A-N-Y, any tag can have its own unique ID. And this is how simple it is. I'm going to select the tag based on these choices, ID none. Now you cannot start out an ID with a number, but I can type it out. I could say first, as in first para. First paragraph, hit the return key. Now what that did is that ID right here, the ID is called first paragraph, and it begins with a pound symbol. So watch this, really cool stuff. I've ID'd that tag to be a first paragraph. That's the name of the idea. Call it anything I want. I can call it mustard head. I can call it Al Pacino goes to the movies. I just can't start with a number. Okay? So I'm going to select the tag. I'm going to select the source. And I'm going to hit the plus symbol. And it automatically puts the pound symbol in there. The pound symbol, or uh, I, I, let me share some Mandarin with you. In Mandarin, that's called the Shep tag. See? The present admission right there. You had no idea that you were going to learn some Mandarin today. Mandarin, Mandarin uh, uh, language, that's the Shep tag. So if you have any Mandarin friends that speak Mandarin, you can impress them with your Shep knowledge. Okay, now here's what I want to be able to do. 
With that ID selected, I want to change the color of the type to maybe red, just because I just because I can. And notice that it just changes that paragraph because that's the ID of that particular paragraph. Now the other thing I want to do is indent the first paragraph. So I'm going to indent this 1.5 EM. And there you go. Make a change, save a change. So that's just a little starter on how to work with CSS, but I hopefully I've made this very, very enjoyable for you. And it's really, really this simple. We haven't touched any code. We let Dreamer do all the work for us. And like I said in my opening video, this is a $69 course. And I'm maybe shooting myself in the foot by offering it for this price. Because there's other students out there that are going to say, well, how come you gave it to them for 10 bucks and I had to pay 69 Well, you know, everybody has sales, I guess, right? Maybe I'll make it up to them some other way by offering them a discount on another course. Okay, so you can have this full entire course with, with, with updates, free updates for life, for $10. Now, if you don't respect my training and my knowledge enough to go out and make yourself, if you were to build a website for 20 bucks, you just doubled your investment. If you made a website for $30, you just tripled your investment. And if you built a website for 5,000, I can't count that high. Okay, so the next video, I'm going to share with you how to change the home page of your site all through FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. So stay tuned.